Have you ever wondered, hmm, what's the hardest game in Ark? You might say, oh, easy, Titans, definitely. Well, what if I told you the Titans can't even compare to this guy? Allow me to introduce to you, the Von Rear. Since this is the end, I have decided to allow myself to go on any map that I've previously completed to grab whatever I would need. So, I obviously chose Genesis for the Shadow Mains and the strong crossbow that I had there. After arriving at my dear base, I took everything I would need, including the broken tech candy. Trust me, this thing is a lifesaver. After grabbing everything, I went to the island to tame a Uteranus as well as do all the caves. By the way, my island and Scorched Earth save file is gone because I reinstalled my windows. Can we get an F in the chat? Taming a UT is stupidly easy. After he woke up, I realized, yo, I don't need to tame anything, because I have shadow means, <laughs> lol. Realizing this, I immediately jumped into caves. Almost all caves were easy, because I could use my shadow main. Why did I say almost? You'll see. Artifact 1, done. So, I need to get over there. Artifact 2, done. Third cave is a fan favorite if you watched my first episode of this journey. It still had no onyx, by the way. At this point, we had everything needed to run the Broodmother, but I decided to run them back to back after I had all the artifacts. So, I returned to Ragnarok to make a scuba tank because the next caves are underwater. Coming HQ, initiating special op mission. This is gonna be easy. Roger that, bravo, special mission is a go. Yoink. And yoink this as well. Next cave is the easiest cave in this whole game. You go in and you jump down. That's literally the whole cave. The next cave is the most confusing cave on the island, in my opinion. But I did find the artifact, and if you come here, you can grapple up and skip 90% of the cave. You're welcome. Mega Pificus, done. Yeah, I'm not gonna make the same joke twice. This game is harder though, because you do not wanna mess with this guy. For safety though, I decided to spend precious time healing up the Shadow Mean. And despite all the baddies in this cave, it's actually quite beautiful. Like, just look at this artifact room. God damn! Next cave, Ice Cave. If you've played Dark the Island for more than one second in your life, you probably know something about this cave. Um, I got lost, so I used the map. <laughs> hug left and go. <laughs> hug left, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got this. Easy. Also, things in this cave hurt a lot. So, yeah, be careful. And may God bless this day canteen. As I've said before, running past everything is not the best choice. Despite all these events, I secured the artifact. Monkey. Next cave, Swamp Cave. Very easy as well. With 4 pieces of ghillie and 1 piece scuba, you take 5 damage instead of 20. And there's also this hole that you can squeeze through, if you're small enough, with a grapple. Short privilege is real, oh man. Now the last cave is the only hard cave on the island. Why? Because you cannot bring a single dinosaur in with you. It's just you, your shotgun, and your Neos and Onyx in tight corners. Not to mention the constant freeze damage and the insta-kill spikes that if you fall into, you lose all your stuff. Yeah, balanced. Holy. Yeah, that would've ended badly, bro. I'm like 1 HP, man. Dragon, done. 
Yuti Saddle acquired. Hell yeah. Last thing is, change the name of the Andrew Circus from Andrew Tate to Alfie. Because I forgot to do so in the last episode. Everything you've watched this episode has led to this moment. It's time for the three bosses. I buffed everyone up and initiated the Broodmother fight. My plan was to wait for her to come to us, and since I had only one single female shadow main, I had her wait near me on passive while the men do the heavy lifting. Oh yeah, she's getting wrecked. Oh, she's getting this. That's one out of three, done. <clears throat> Next up is the Mega Pificus, exactly the same setup as before. Aggro boss, let Shadow Mains do the job while I buff. Mega Pificus though has more damage, more knockback, but he has half the full mother's HP. So, probably know what that means. You know, I gotta say, living your whole life here with this Sekiro vibe and this view is not that bad. Last boss is Aldo. Oh, wait, 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 wrong game, wrong game. Is the bag. This boss, however, before he lands, he sends some minions to fight you off. Nothing too difficult, although be careful because Dimorphodons can hit you instead of your Dino. When he sees that he has no chance against you, he's gonna say, Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take matters in my own hands. In terms of damage, he is weak. But he spews fire. That fire... Ho oh, ho! That fire annihilates you. GG. It's for your time. I felt very confident in the setup I already had and didn't change absolutely anything. There he is. Okay, he's kinda healthy, but this should be easy. Oh. Yeah, if you can't tell, we lost everything. After taking a break, I went back on Genesis to take more Shadow Moves, because they take the least amount of effort to get, go very fast, have very good armor, damage, HP, all that stuff. So what I did was, I got Fish, also got this Stylobite for later, then I went to Team Shadow Moves. You've seen me do this before? <coughs> You've seen... <coughs> You've seen me do this before, or know how it's done, so there's absolutely no point for me to show you. They're now in home and trade such shadow So, this is what I managed to get in just a few hours. God bless movies. I have here 19 mains and one spot left of the tracks. Last thing I need is the industrial cooker for medical proofs. Also I'm gonna give myself the free boss trophies because there's absolutely no point to fight all the free island bosses again. It would just waste time. Now, all the videos you have watched, all the comments you've written, and all the attention you've given me. I've led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand. Right now! This time, I'm gonna keep spinning around him and under any circumstance, do not get hit by that. I also buff every once in a while when I get a slight window of opportunity. If you can dodge the Spectral Wolf, this boss is hilariously easy. <laughs> nice try, fuck you. Fuck you, holy! There is! 
for here. You died in a weird way. <laughs> okay, what do you do? Why are you so rare? 100 damage. Okay, actually 200 is a stego, but still, 100 damage. That is very disappointing. The flag was very good though. The main goal of this episode is done. So why stop here? Let's finish this. Right here, right now. To summon him in, you need to do all the Genesis missions. And since this is theoretically a different character, I don't have any mission completed. So we gonna cheat. What you need to do for this boss is, first of all, lower all your graphics because your PC is gonna explode. Or at least mine. Then kill the rock or tentacles from the aberration fight. Bite this thing until the little robot realizes Oh wait, there's a giant box in the middle of the arena. I wonder what it's for. And there's Optimus Prime just waiting inside. Yeah. It's a robot with a death ray. You use it to kill mini Rockwells, then you kill Rockwell. Without the robot. And then you finish it with the robot. Very difficult, amazing game design, amazing boss design. Now before I show you the ending, we need to tame a leech. Yeah. A leech. A saber to Salmon and... Right, different character. Learn the Exomech Tech Ram and craft it. By the way, it doesn't have the death ray. Okay, looking at this list, I... I did it. I did everything existent on Ark. Thank you so so much for giving me your attention, watching this series, subscribing, liking, all that. I'm now also hoping to be in terms of YouTube success, but that's fine. Also, I've made a Discord, so go join it.